the merry men know about pancake making Cause pancake day is a regular fixture You take your frying pan and some sugar and jam And get on down to make the mixture Well you take a dozen eggs, take a cup of milk And don't forget to add a little flour And then you beat it up with a wooden spoon And leave it to settle for just one hour Cause it's pancake day, yes, it's pancake day, yes, it's Where the living ain't so funny They make their packets out of dirty old mud Cos they ain't got no flipping money Their smiles are right cos the tears they hide Even though their life is hell But the smiles stop the fool when the sheriff comes to call And he brings King John as well with that disgusting slop. I think it's Pancake Day. Yes, it's Pancake Day. It must be pa 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 pancake day Well, you'd better get us a frying pan, then, hadn't you? Certainly, sire. Anything you say, sire. One frying pan. Coming up, sire. You scum! Over here, please. Hurry up. Ah, stinker. Today is your lucky day. You know who this is, don't you? Well, today... No. Now what? No, I don't know who it is. Don't be ridiculous, of course you do. Today, he's going to give Stinker the privilege... Who is he, then? Who is who? Him. Him is the king! Which king would that be, then? Stephen King? Jonathan King? King is my first name! Oh, King Kong! No! King John! Who's he, then? The king, the king! The flipping king! The one who does the speech on Christmas Day and chops people's heads off! Ah, that's William the Conqueror. He's king. My dear Stinker, William the Conqueror is a nasty king who is dead as a doormat. This one here is a nice king who is after your frying pan. Get it? Oh. <laughs> Got it. Good. There you are, sir. Mission accomplished. They didn't know who I was. Do you like plain or jam, sire? Or are you really naughty like me and have angel delight with chocolate spread and peanut butter? They didn't know who I was! Who them? Those turnip heads? They don't know who anyone is. But they're my subjects! Why don't they know who I am? Because they're stupid! If you gave them a cannonball on a plate, they think it was a new kind of Christmas pudding. Forget about it. Let's go home and tuck into those pancakes. You're not tucking into those pancakes! You're not tucking into anything until they know who I am. Understand? Not one morsel of food will pass your lips until I'm famous. Ha! Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir? Who am I? A big fat knife. And what's going to happen? We're going to leap out on you and steal all your gold. Right. Are you ready? Yo! Yes! Ya! Yeah. yeah! Then here I come! Clip, clop, clip, clop! Yo ho! Yeah. I'm a big yeah. fat knight! Yeah. And my pockets are weighed down by all the incredibly huge amounts of gold I've robbed from the poor! How lucky I am oh. there aren't any superbly trained bandits around yeah. who would rob me in a brilliantly coordinated action and then disappear again back into the forest! Come on! I've nearly gone. Come on, leap out on me. Oh, no, not again. We've already done it 32 times. <laughs> exactly. And you haven't got it right once, have you? Because we're hungry. What? We can't concentrate because we didn't have any breakfast. I beg your pardon? Well, we didn't have very much. Rabies, how many pancakes did you have? Uh, that many. And how many's that? One, two. You had 16 each, king-size ones. And you only stopped because it was my turn to toss them, and I said I wouldn't until you'd done an honest day's robbing. And because you're the only one who doesn't know how to make them. Yes, and because... What are you talking about? I know how to make pancakes. I'd have got my pancake proficiency badge if my brownie pack hadn't been closed down for armed robbery. Go on, then. Go on what? Go on and toss some pancakes. What's the magic word? Abracadabra. The magic word is please, rabies. And yes, I will toss you some pancakes, provided... Oh, wow! Yeah. Uh, provided you don't come back till you've leapt on a knight and taken all his gold. Understand? 
Yeah. Go on, then. And you're supposed to be gorillas, for goodness sake. Wear some camouflage. If they're not on that table in 20 seconds, I'll cover you in batter and serve you up as a spring roll! Coming, Your Majesty. Anything you say, Your Majesty. Hope they get stuck in your throat and give you food poisoning, Your Majesty. Please, sir, can I have my frying pan back? Not now, stinker. I'm busy. Here you are, sir. Pancakes as ordered, sire. By the way, sire, I have had a brilliant idea. May I? What brilliant idea? Well, you want everyone to remember you, right? So, invent something. Why do we remember Noah? Because he invented the ark. Who invented the screw? Archimedes. Adam invented the apple. Catherine invented the wheel. So, we remember them. No problem, really, sire. Any time you want me. Well, go on, then. Sorry? Invent something. Me invent something? Oh, I I'm not an inventor, sir. I'm a sheriff. Look, here's my badge. Would you like a pancake? Yes, please, sir. Then invent something! Invent something. Right, uh, invent something. Um, uh, right, uh, I'll invent... the automatic foot. What for? What for? Well, it's got to be for something, hasn't it? For something, yes, yes, uh, for something. Um, I've got it, I've got it! I'll invent... A parachute. A what? A parachute, so that when you're flying along, you can jump out and you won't hurt yourself. Flying along in what? I don't know. They haven't invented anything yet, have they? No, they haven't, you stupid little weasel. Now pass me the sugar. Certainly, sire. Uh, invent something. Uh, right away, sire. It's dropped into my pocket, cretin. Oh, sire, I most terribly... Wait a tiny minute. That's what I'll invent. I'll have pockets all round the table and, and, and we'll shove sugar bowls in, in them. No, 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 balls. There are lots of balls. And, and we'll have, have, have little sticks to, to prod them with and we'll have chalk on the end to stop them slipping and it'll be a game, a wonderful, marvellous new game. And we'll call it John. Gary! Graham! Hello. Go straight to the ball makers in Lincoln. I've got a really big order for them. Mine's got a little teddy bear's head on it. Oh, I've never seen one like that. Mine's got a knitted cover shaped like a tortoise. Oh, doesn't it shrink when it gets wet? No. Halt! Hello. Look, it's some Morris men. No, it isn't. Isn't it? Oh. You're not beautiful princesses who've been bewitched by an evil wizard and turned into plum trees, are you? Leave it out, we're gorillas. What? Green gorillas? No, we're merry men and we're going to jump out and rob you. Now, what have you got? Oh. Uh, two long sticks and a wooden triangle. Yeah, and 22 coloured balls. Any gold? No, 15 red, a yellow, a green, a brown, a blue, a pink, a black and a white. Well, nothing else at all. No money, no candlesticks, no gold plates, nothing like that. No, nothing like that. Oh, we've got a, a, a little square of chalk with a dent in it. No, that really won't do. Oh, well, thanks anyway. Bye. 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 You are Morris men, really, aren't you? They thought we were Morris men. I hate Morris men. Yeah, they're like clowns without the funny bits. I told her we need a uniform. How will people know we're the merry men if we haven't got a uniform? Well, I'll show her. And they jumped out on us and said they wanted all our gold. Who did? The Morris men. Morris men? I don't believe you. Did they wave little white hankies around in the air like this? No. And was there one extremely amusing one who hit everybody over the head with an inflatable pig's bladder? No. Then they weren't real Morris men. How do you know? Because Morris dancing is in my blood. It takes a very special sort of person to be a Morris man, and I'm one. I only gave it up because my bladder burst. Nottingham! Is that you? Coming, Your Majesty! Well, at least you got the stuff. About time two, I'm starving. Please, sir, can I have my pan back? Nope. Your problems are over, my lord. In this bag is John, the game that'll take the country by storm. 
John Halls will sprout up in every town and village. There'll be national John Championships, international John Championships. John players will punch the ref and make the front of the newspapers. Your name will echo down the centuries as the inventor of this brilliantly entertaining game. You two, over there and open your pockets. So, let's play John. First of all, I place the balls on the table. Oops, sorry. I uh, place the balls on the. Uh, I place the balls on the uh, Can we have another table, please? So that's it, is it? That's your brilliantly entertaining game of John that's going to make me famous? Oh, would you like a game of John? Oh, yes, please. How do you play? Well, you get a sack of balls and you tip them up all over the floor. Ha <laughs> ha! I've had more entertaining mornings at the dentist. Are you hungry? Well, yes, sir. I must confess. Well, not for much longer. You're going to eat every one of these, starting with this one. I don't like greens, Your Majesty. Open your mouth, Nottingham. You're going to have a ball! You could put a tablecloth on. And to stop the balls rolling off, you could stick cushions round the sides. Stick cushions round the sides? Yes, yes, you're right. Brilliant. A uh, masterstroke. Cushions. I'll get them made up in Lincoln right away. All the same colour. Very tasteful. You'll love them. Come on, men. We've got work to do. Well, this time I'm coming with you. I don't want you handing over our cushions to a bunch of phony Morris dancers. And Stinker, if you ask me for your pan back once more, I will hang you from the wall, divide you into 20 sections and use you as a dartboard. But don't sir, argue! My name's not Stinker. Yeah, once they get cold, they're really disgusting, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> They lie there all floppy and blubbery and they wobble when you poke them. Will you two stop waffling? Waffle, 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 that's all you ever do. Sorry, Sheriff. They're jolly cosy when they're hot, aren't they? Shut up! Yes, Sheriff. And in the morning you say you'll never have another one, but you always do. Yeah. Don't Will you? you two stop going on about your stupid hot water bottles? That's all you ever talk about. Now we're in the middle of a forest ridden with unseen dangers. Anything could jump out on us. Mad axemen, werewolves, lunatics. Your money or your life? Idiots in skirts and berets. I said your money or your life. Are you mad? Are you completely mad? I am the Sheriff of Nottingham. I do happen to be surrounded by two burly guards who both have GCSE in killing, maiming and chewing people's heads off. How do you propose to take my life? By dressing up in false beards and glasses so I laugh myself to death. By playing the bagpipe so badly I throw myself off a cliff in order to escape the noise. No, we're going to fight you. Are we? Yes, we are. You think I'm frightened of you? The Sheriff of Nottingham is frightened of nobody. Morning. Ah! It's Robin Hood, the fiercest bandit in England. Do exactly as he says or we're doomed. Terribly sorry. Did I make you uh, jump? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I just uh, trod on a hedgehog. Say hello, boys. Don't you see who it is? Well, what do you think of our outfit, sir? Pretty stylish, eh? Uh, oh, yes, yes, Barry. Gave you a bit of a fright, didn't they? Mm. Mm, I've never seen anything so frightful in my life. Aren't they smashing? Oh, uh, could I have your gold, please? My gold? Uh, I haven't got any. Here, he's got a gold tooth. You can pull that out. Most kind, sir. Sorry about the hold-up, but the problem is we're, you know, starving. Oh, so am I. We've hardly had any breakfast, you see. Neither have I. Haven't you? Oh, well, come and eat at our place, then, uh, chez nous. That's the sheriff of Nottingham. I know. A deadly enemy. No, he just wants to be friends, don't you? Guess what we've got to eat? Uh, venison? Rabbit? Acorn porridge? He'll never guess, will he? I'll tell you what. Hands over your eyes, then it'll be a surprise. Come on. You're peeking, aren't you? I can see. Come on, tie something around Mr. Cheapbox's peepers. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? As soon as we get back, I'm going to take off this stupid costume. Me too. It makes me look like an idiot. You are an idiot. Oh, yeah. Right, follow me. Won't Marion be surprised when she sees who we've brought home? Breakfast in the open air, the birds singing. The... Where is it? Where's the sugar bowl? Every time my back's turned, 
If that sugar bowl isn't back in my hands in three seconds, there'll be trouble. One, two, flipping squirrels, and the spoon. Thank you. That's everything, I think. Let's hope they're back before the pancakes get cold. Cooey, we're home. Oh, good, because I was just... Robin, what is that ridiculous costume? Do you like it? Look, I hope you don't mind, but I've brought a friend back. Who? Guess. Oh, I don't know. The Archbishop of Canterbury? No. Try again. King of England? No, but you're warm. What? You haven't. Oh, Robin, you haven't brought back... Mm. Mm. I know that smell. You have. Well done, Robin. It's pancakes, isn't it? What a lovely surprise. May I help myself? Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. All right, explain. He was hungry. Robin, killer whales get hungry. Man-eating piranha fish have been known to get a bit peckish. But you don't have to invite them to breakfast. Now he knows where we live, he'll have King John's entire army here by morning. Except he doesn't know where we live. What? I blindfolded him. Did you? Did you? Little Ron, you're a genius. Your brains are so big, I'm surprised they don't leak out of your ears. Now, take off your clown's costumes and we'll think of a plan. They're not clown's costumes. They're our uniforms. When people see us in these, they'll be terrified. They'll run away screaming. Yeah, with laughter. I uh, couldn't trouble you for some lemon barley, could I? That's what I find really galling. Old bossy boots getting a free meal. Wait a minute. Did you tell him it was free? What? The meal. Did you tell him it was free? Well, not in so many words, but... Did you enjoy your meal, sir? It was excellent. Just what the doctor ordered. And can I get you anything else? Uh, just a lemon barley. Apart from that, I'm fine. Good. Well, there you are, then. What's this? The bill. The what? The bill, sir. £142.88p. I'm not paying that. Oh, dear. Well, perhaps I should get the manager, then. Yes. Yes, I would. Bring him here. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Robin, could you come over here, please? Robin? Yes, Robin Hood. That hot-tempered fighter. That deadly shot. He doesn't like people who don't pay their bills. Any problem? Ah! Uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no problem at all. Uh, haven't uh, got any uh, actual uh, money uh, on me at the moment, but uh, I'm sure we can sort out this uh, little bit of silliness without any fuss. Can I open my eyes now? No, you can open your mouth. In here, there is a gold tooth whose approximate value is, I would say at a rough guess, about £142.88p. So if you want to just pull it out... That? I'm not touching that. It's all slimy and covered in dribble. Anyway, it's your bill, not his. What's in those bags? What bags? Haven't got any bags? Those bags. Oh, uh, these bags. Oh, they're, they're, there's uh, nothing in here except yards and yards of horrid, nasty material. You, you, you wouldn't want that. Is that all? Pretty colour, isn't it? Yes, it is. Isn't it, Robin? A very pretty colour. And it coordinates with the trees, doesn't it? So no one would be able to see us when we were hiding, would they? I think I've just had a good idea, haven't I? You certainly have, Robin. Barrington, I want a huge pair of scissors, three needles and a hundred metres of green cotton. The sheriff is going to pay for his meal by knocking us up a few uniforms. But you can't have that stuff. It belongs to King John. You wouldn't want me to set my manager on you, would you? <sighs> Open your eyes, men. Fantastic, eh? What do you think? Marvellous. Absolutely mega-fab. So, uh, we can go home? Yes. There you are. 
I saved you from certain death at the hands of Robin Hood. Thank you very much, sire. Now can you save us from certain death at the hands of King John? What? Yeah, well, when he finds out we've cut his things into little pieces... He'll he... do the same to us. Yes, I see what you mean. Wait a minute. That peasant stinker. The one who's always going on about his stupid frying pan. Yeah, but sire, Quiet, quiet, it's... I'm thinking. When we get back to the castle, bring him to me. I may have a use for him. Stolen! Yes, all gone, sire. We put up a good fight, but Robin Hood is the greatest archer in all England. There was nothing we could do. Then you still haven't made my brilliantly entertaining game. No, sire. And I'm still not famous. It would seem that way, sire. Then you know what happens next, don't you? I fear I do, sire. I'm stuffed with bean sprouts, fried, and sold in a Chinese takeaway. Bring in the bean sprouts. <laughs> Goodbye, my lord. I served you to the best of my ability, but tragically, my best was not good enough. Wait a minute. I know you. Who, me? Yeah, you're that bloke on, uh, on... No, don't tell me I know it. On, on the throne. That's it, isn't it? Well, yes, I... You're the king, aren't you? Well, I... I've always wanted to meet the king. Uh, hang on. Uh, you don't mind, do you, honey? This is terribly exciting. Molly! Denise! Come here a minute. There's somebody here I want you to meet. They've got the king in here. It looks as though we might have been wrong, doesn't it, sir? Yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Can I have your autograph, please, sir? My autograph? <laughs> Why, certainly. <laughs> In fact, I tell you what, I'll get the court painter to paint you all up little pictures of me, if you like, and then you can take them home and you can pin them up on your bedroom walls. <laughs> this way, everybody! <laughs> 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 Well, that's put a smile back on the old toad's face, hasn't it? That should keep me in his good books for a bit. Well done, stinker. You can have your frying pan back. But what about the rewards? You said if I got them all here and the plan worked, you'd give me something to make me rich and famous. And I will, stinker, I will. Here you are. 22 balls, two sticks, a wooden triangle, a piece of chalk and a few bits of green cloth. It's a game, a brilliant new game. You can call it Stinker if you like. It'll make you rich and famous. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Goodbye, sir. What a moron. What an absolute pumpkin head. As if anyone can make a fortune out of that totally useless, rubbishy old game. I don't think Stinker's name's gonna go down in history. Actually, sir, his name isn't Stinker. Isn't it? No, it's Snooker. Snooker? <laughs> well, no one's going to make me money out of a game called Snooker, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Marianne.